Well, we're not giving up on anyone, but remember the soul is not the same as the body. So one could be a child in this current life, but be a very old soul, or be a soul who only needed to have certain kinds of final experiences in order to be liberated from the body. It, this is a moment of return to spirit, which we have lost. And matter and spirit are on a spectrum. They are actually not different, but matter is a congealed and, and dense form of spirit because there is only the one substance of spirit that can appear as matter, it can appear as energy, it can appear as mind, and it can appear as, as that infinite field of divine light uh, which is the ultimate uh, matrix, really, in which the, the, the quantum wave functions collapse and decollapse, and forms and objects and beings and nature all arise and evolve and devolve, and, and this whole cosmic process is born and goes through sustenance and then to its natural death and rebirth at a cosmic level. So all of this uh, is, once you are at that level of pure spirit, you recognize that no one is being left behind. There aren't really a multiplicity of souls or of children or of lost beings. There is only that one consciousness that all are returning to. So there's nothing to grieve. There is no one whose life is being cut short because they'll have another life. They'll have, you will have many opportunities just as all of us have had many lifetimes. There's no shortage of that. And, and, and there is something more precious than having a life in this plane, which is the return to God consciousness and the life of God, the life of that self who produces and sustains and redeems uh, the fallen world back into itself. It's that life, that eternal life of the supreme being that we are, have, have lost and forgotten our relationship to that will finally uh, uh, bring us to full awakening, illumination, and liberation in our true nature as that, as the one self. And that is the, uh, the supreme uh, prize that all will receive, whether they're children, adolescents, adults, animals, trees, birds, whatever, it doesn't matter. All are manifestations of God, and that will return will be bliss for everyone and everything. So I hope everyone recognizes the unconditional beauty of this moment. And it's not a tragedy and not a horror for anyone, but we have to see it with the third eye open. And with the eye of God, we can see the perfection of all that is happening.